Hello Star Wars fans and collectors, it's me Genomaster98 back again with another Star Wars figure review. In today's Star Wars figure review I've got a really cool and special item to give you a look at today from the Mandalorian TV show. Uh, recently, obviously on Disney Plus, the Mandalorian Season 3 has been streaming on Disney Plus. And recently uh, my dad um, decided to uh, pick up this item that I'm going to give you a look at today in this review. Uh, my dad's obviously a postman, he works obviously in London, uh, particular areas uh, being uh, Ells Court, and uh, his uh, route and everything, he did us obviously to numerous shops and obviously businesses and other places as you expect uh, from a postman. And he delivers to this shop and uh, he's obviously got to know the customer really well there and he was uh, shopping in there the other day and uh, he noticed that there was a stack of these items on one of the shelves there and originally uh, the owner of the store was charging around about 20 to 25 pounds for this item and obviously because the customer knows my dad and everything he uh, obviously managed to get a deal on this uh, item for about 10 pounds which I thought was an absolute steal considering the size of this figure and uh, I'd just like to say the time to really appreciate the kind gesture that my dad went out his way to buy a Star Wars item for me so uh, thanks very much dad and obviously it's an item I can review on the channel and I think it's an item that you uh, guys will really enjoy so the uh, character we're going to take a look today and it's a really really cool item I must say from the Mandalorian is this one it's the Mandalorian talking action figure from the Mandalorian TV show now this, I have to say, is something obviously I wasn't expecting, but I really appreciate the gesture and the generosity from my dad, obviously for buying this figure for my Star Wars collection. It's a really nice, uh, generous gift. And I have to say the quality and the uh, quality control of this figure is phenomenal. The uh, scale of it, the accessories, and obviously the different parts, and obviously the different components to obviously the Mandalorian is really really cool and obviously with it being a talkative figure as well it adds so much uh, features and obviously benefits the character even more in terms of obviously posability and obviously uh, the words he uses in the series and I have to say the gadgets and everything about this figure is really really nice there's a few nitpicks for me in terms of obviously details and stuff like that but we'll get onto that as the uh, review progresses but before we dive into this cool fella we're going to take a look at the packaging that this character comes with so this is the Mandalorian packaging that comes with this figure obviously it's the talking action figure as you see this is obviously his cardboard and plastic prison that he's obviously in at the top you've obviously got the Star Wars logo there Obviously inside you can obviously see the plastic prison to keep in uh, inside, which is nicely done I must say considering. You've got some little bits there which says real character phrases, obviously in multiple languages or different. Light up, flamethrower, blast the light and sounds, so numerous languages there. At the bottom you've obviously got a picture of Mando in action there, and obviously some legal stuff and everything. And on the back you've obviously got the Star Wars logo and obviously Mando in action and on the back there you've obviously got the Mandalorian talking action figure 12 points of articulation which is really really cool and obviously you've got some legal stuff and obviously advertisement there you've got a little bit on the side there in terms of the Star Wars logo and obviously the colour white and you've got a really nice image of Mando in action on the side there and then on the bottom You've obviously got some legal stuff there as well. But the packaging is really good. It's obviously not too heavy, but obviously it displays really well. Just move back a little bit more so you can uh, get it in. So that's the packaging. Obviously the plastic prison. They've done really well. But the packaging, it's not too bad. So that's the packaging for this fella. Let's take a look at this character in more detail and we'll start off with the articulation as the uh, back of the box stated it did mention 
I'm oh, sorry about that, try not to knock the camera off the tripod. It did mention that it's obviously got 12 points of articulation and we'll run through them now. Mando, of course, he's got movement in the top of the head. There's movement in top of the shoulders briefly like so. A little bit of movement in the uh, elbows and tops of the shoulder. Wrist, briefly, brief bit of movement there. Same with the uh, left and right leg. Uh, arm, sorry. Arm, not leg, sorry. Got movement in the torso there. Top part of the leg, you've obviously got some nice bit of movement there, so you can obviously get his leg up there. You've obviously got some movement in the knees, and obviously got some movement in the ankles, which is nicely done. Obviously, the accessories he comes with, he obviously does come with the blaster pistol that he uses in the series. And obviously the flame flame thrower, can't get my words out, flame thrower. Getting a bit tongue-tied there, sorry everyone. So that's really, really cool. Obviously the detail of Mando is obviously unique, like with most Star Wars characters in terms of obviously he's a Mandalorian. So you've obviously got the uh, Beskar armour and obviously the little ammo pouch at the uh, front there. You've obviously got the Beskar armour on tops of the uh, legs and everything. Details along the belt which is really cool. And the small nitpick for me is this blaster holster. Look at the size of the blast holster compared to the blaster pistol. I mean it is... It is ridiculous, considering they could have sculpted it a little bit bigger, but then again, depending on the size of this figure, you can understand why, but it is a bit ridiculous where that blaster holster is tiny, and you see the size of this blaster pistol as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Uh, the flamethrower effect is unique as well. Obviously, got that on there, obviously, with the whistling birds and everything that it uses. And obviously, on top there, that's obviously the feature that you press to get the flame to obviously light up and obviously on the right shoulder there that's obviously the effect to obviously get the blaster pistol to fire and if I was to turn on the back part there is a little switch which you can see just there so you've obviously got on and off button there but if you just push it up to the top like so make sure it clicks and obviously there's a little part on the front of the chest plate where you can press so you can hear all the phrases that he uses. Just show you some extra stuff. You've also got some detonators on the belt and some other bits and bobs that he uses. So I'll just put the cloak down. So that's really, really cool. Uh, I'm gonna give you a test run on the flamethrower. So you just press that button there. So as you see, the flame for uh, is activated. Hopefully that's coming all right up in camera considering it's a little bit lighter in here. So that's really, really cool. On the right, as I stated, you obviously got that bit, which you can obviously the blast the uh, pistol fires. So that's really cool. On the front bit there, you can see where my finger is, there's a little button there. And if you press that, you've obviously got the Mandalorian phases, phrases that he uses. I can bring you in warm, or I can bring you in cold. No droids. What's your highest bounty? This is the way. I want my next job. They work for the Empire. I did what I had to. I know the drill. So you've got numerous phrases from the first series of the Mandalorian TV show, which is really, really cool. Um, but I have to say, the, the detail on this is fantastic considering the size of the figure, in terms of obviously the little creases in the cloak, the, uh, the best scar armour, all the gadgets that he has obviously on the uh, shelf. Uh, not shelf. Um, chest plate. Uh, waste and everything there so um, the de like I said the, the detail is really really cool like I said the only nitpick for me is the size of that blaster holster to be fair but everything in terms of obviously his boots the little ammunition pouches on the legs and everything the best car armor every detail for me is caught really well in this figure considering it's a larger figure it's a talking figure but nevertheless I think what you're getting 
is really really cool and it's an, up to you if you want to have it boxed have it out on display but it's the Mandalorian I mean the Mandalorian has been terrific in terms of obviously products uh, re-imaging the uh, likes of Star Wars really give it an extra drive obviously from 2019 when it first aired where obviously Star Wars was going through a phase where you had episode 7, episode 8 and obviously before episode 9 was released this character obviously came onto our screens on Disney Plus so it was a little bit of a funny state styles in terms of fandom and this has obviously blown it out of the water and it's been bloody brilliant I must say considering obviously season 3 it's done well so far, obviously at the time of filming this review I've just watched episode 6 of season 3 so we are a couple of episodes away from finishing I believe but what we've got has been good so I'm hoping for a really good ending as well and obviously John Favreau confirmed that there will be more coming out so that's even better obviously Mando, Mando Grogu, uh, Bo-Katan, the Armourer all the gang in the series brilliant the series is phenomenal uh, the guys at uh, Star Wars obviously doing a terrific job and um, Hasbro if you are watching in terms of three and three quarter inch figures black series other stuff sideshows I can speak for most Star Wars fans we want more Mandalorian products because you know it's going to sell but um, apart from that really impressed with this figure and uh, I really appreciate the generosity from my dad for obviously going his way to pay for this figure and give this figure to me as a gift so uh, hats off to dad so thank you very much for that dad um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the talking Mandalorian figure hope you enjoyed this review hope, hopefully I've reviewed this as best I can and uh, if you've missed any points please don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section below so that's been talking Mando from the Mandalorian TV show I'll be back with many more Star Wars figure reviews very soon. Got an item to give you a look at from Solo Star Wars Story next. Um, we're going to be taking a look at this item. So I'll briefly just quickly show you what we're going to take a look at. It is Han Solo's Land Speeder. So stay tuned for that. And um, yet again, thank you every, to everyone for watching this Star Wars review. I'll be back with many more Star Wars reviews very soon. Be sure to obviously subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my channel and see it grow. So thanks very much. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. Take care, look after yourself and as always, may the force be with you.